Packs his bags, gets his wife, and now they're moving. As a family, they're moving. They're going to go settle somewhere else. They're going to look somewhere to build a nice home. Along the way, while they're traveling, of course, we know the story. Musa Ali Sam sees the fire in the distance, goes there, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to him, and he is made a prophet of Allah, a prophet of God. While Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is communicating him the divine message and the divine responsibility, the prophetic responsibility that is being given to him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala engages him in a little exercise, an iman building exercise. And Allah asks him, وَمَا تِلْكَ بِيَمِينِكَ يَا مُوسَى What's in your right hand, O Musa? And Musa alayhi salam says, قَالَ هِيَ عَصَايَ This is my staff. أَتَوَكَّأُوا عَلَيْهَا I lean on it. وَأُهُشُّ بِهَا عَلَىٰ غَنَمِي I knock down leaves from the trees for, uh, uh, from the trees for my, my flock. I'm a shepherd. وَلِيَ فِيهَا مَآرِبُ أُخْرَىٰ And I have lots, tons of other benefits that this staff provides for me. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him, Alqiha ya Musa. So he says, throw it down. Toss it down, just throw it to the ground. He just got done saying this is something beneficial. You don't throw away something that's beneficial, but that's exactly what Allah tells him to do. Fa'alqaha, so he throws it down. Fa'idahiyahayyatun tas'a. It be all of a sudden it becomes a snake tas'a that's rapidly moving around. Scary stuff. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him, Khudha wa la takhaf. Now go grab that snake and don't you dare be scared. Don't be afraid. Sanu'iduha siratah al-ula. We will return it back to its original form and condition. And Musa alayhi salam goes and grabs a live snake, big old snake. And what happens? It returns back to being a staff. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Musa alayhi salam a very profound lesson. I haven't even gotten to the gist, the, the core of what I want to talk about, but this is something very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Musa alayhi salam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who controls the benefit and the harm in anything and everything. Something that we might find to be extremely beneficial for us could end up being the cause or the source of great harm to us. And sometimes there's something that could seem very detrimental, something that could seem harmful at the surface, but it could turn out to be extremely beneficial for us, like grabbing a snake and it returning back to the staff. So harm and benefit, these are just the outcome. These are just the surface level appearances. These are just the symptoms. But what's deep down inside, what's at the core of everything is the command of God, is the command of Allah. 